Hello, Aldi Monte. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Where have you been? Well, I was lucky enough to get sick. How's that lucky? I don't know, I'm just always getting sick. This is just great. Well, stay away from me. I haven't been sick in two years, and that's not going to change. Well, good luck staying healthy. Here's the El Diamante update. Oh. Hey miners, I hope you're ready because I'm going to give you the El Diamante update. Summer school applications can be picked up in the student service office, office and must be completed, uh, signed by parents and turned in March 25th or sooner. CSET will be on campus March 4th for any senior interested in applying. Sign up by Thursday, March 3rd. To sign up, see Mrs. Atherton in the student office space is limited to 25. Hey, hey you! If you're interested in an award-winning yearbook class, come pick up an application in the counseling office or room 901. <laughs> Christian Club will meet every Thursday at lunch in the band room. Well, that's it for us. We'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> Do you need a tissue? <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. And yes. <sighs> what, is, what are you doing? That's disgusting! Well, when a girl needs a tissue, she needs it pronto. I just gave it to you. <laughs> you were too late. <coughs> Did you hear that? What? <clears throat> I, I, I think that was a whooping cough. I think you might have it. What the heck is that? Here, learn some more. <coughs> whooping cough has become a very serious sickness. And in order to attend school next year, you must have proof of your vaccinations. We talked to Sharon Frosch, an RN here at El Monte. Whooping cough is a serious disease um, and it lasts for up to several months and it's especially dangerous for infants. <laughs> it's a new law that's coming out that's going to be effective in July of this year and anybody that hasn't had their whooping cough uh, booster from the age of seven will need to have a updated immunization. So minors, be sure to get vaccinated. Oh my gosh, this is just great. I hate being sick. I thought you said you were glad. <coughs> it's called sarcasm. Well, I'm sorry I can't pick up on your sarcasm. Somebody didn't eat their apple today. Let's just check out this next story. <laughs> no one likes this apple cake. <coughs> hey, miners, if you're interested in taking Miss Ford's dance class, listen up, because this story is going to tell you all about it. Head to the dance room today after school. Auditions for dance start at 3.30. Students can benefit a lot from taking dance. They gain self-confidence, self-esteem, stamina, endurance, flexibility. They have a lot of fun. They gain new friendships. The dance room is like a laboratory where we get to experiment and try different things and, and have a safe environment to try things. The students also learn to live a healthier lifestyle and they learn that exercising can really benefit them and their attitude throughout the rest of the day. If you're looking to have a good time and make friends, talk to Miss Ford and join dance. Well, it's pretty fun. I've got like tons of friends in here now. A lot of people I didn't know were all friends. Uh, I'm getting a lot of good exercise. Miss Ford's really cool. It helps me athletically and it helps me it helps me with my respect, it helps me with posture, it helps you with a lot of things. And like it it keeps you focused in school too. Well, there you go, Myers. And remember, auditions start today after school at 3.30, so get your dancing shoes on. Mary, he's in the doctor yet. No, no, no. I don't want to go to the doctor. Why not? He's there to help you. And if you're nice and behave, you might get a lollipop. Well, that is a good point. You know what else might help you? The doctor of sports, the man with the scores, Chris Mark. <laughs> hey, thanks, Theo Marquez. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Minor Sports. On Tuesday, our minor swim team hosted Garces at home while the baseball team competed in the Clovis tournament against Buchanan. Here's how they did.
Now there's nothing going on today, but tomorrow you can catch lots of sports going on. It begins with our softball team traveling up to Clovis to take on Clovis North in a doubleheader at 3.30, while the baseball team will continue to play in the Clovis tournament, but this time against Clovis East. And on the courts, the tennis team will host the Timberwolves of Clovis East at home beginning at 4. Now that's enough for Clovis for now. In the pool, our minor swim team will be at it again as they'll match up with Sanger away at 3.30. And finally, the minor track team will scrimmage against Menachee and Exeter at home beginning at 4. Now those are lots of games and matches going on for tomorrow, so hope to see you guys out there supporting our sports teams. Yearbook, time to show off. Here's a sneak peek from the summer section. You can see the senior sunrise. Look at Spencer Robinson lifting the weight. Icebreaker. Look at all those faces. Something new about drivers? Time's flying by. Reserve your yearbook before May 20th. <coughs> you know what? I really need to go to the doctor. Agreed. We should take you as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, anyways, we hope you all stay happy and healthy, and we'll see you guys later. Till next time, miners. Hey, Mary, do you <coughs> think that... Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't... How is that lucky? <laughs> You know what? What else? Uh, 